In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to use a time shift segment to do panning and zooming. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to take this clip of children playing and drag it into track number one. And then with that highlighted, I'm going to click on the Tools option and click on Action Camera Center. Now one of the things that we'll do is it will create a time shift if we click on this button. I'm not going to use that time shift to change the timing of a segment, but to actually do panning and zooming within it. So I'll take my playhead and I can move it anywhere I want to. Uh, let's focus on this, this gal here. And wherever I click, wherever my uh, playhead or my scrubber is, when I can do create time shift, it will create it at that point and to the right. I could make it longer or shorter if I wanted to. But now with that selected, I'm going to click on um, below it. I have a zoom and pan option. I'll click on that. And now I'm going to, um, I have to move the scrubber somewhere inside it, even just a frame or two. And then that will give me the option. I can change the size of this. I'm going to focus on this young gal's face. So we're going to zoom in here. Now, if I click on the diamond and the plus, it will add a keyframe. Unfortunately, in my version of PowerDirector, this is not highlighted. It's dark. But I still clicking on it will, will do that. So I'm going to click anyway. And then I will try to track her face. I'll move it over a few more frames. The picture will change. That's still a good location. I'll just click on this again and then we're going to move over a little bit more and uh, I think I'll move it up a little bit and then added a third keyframe you see they're adding on the chart over here and that's still okay there doesn't hurt we'll move it over a little bit more we'll keep focused I backed up so we'll keep focusing on her and uh, Okay, we'll move over here a little bit farther. We'll just kind of keep tracking her face, her expression. And uh, let's see, we'll move this way. Now she's she's moving down and we're going to keep focusing on her enjoyment of this activity. We'll move it over a little bit more. Her face kind of goes out of the picture, but we'll do our best to follow. And then we'll come this way. And keep zeroed in on that. And over here. You could spend a lot of time if you want to follow it really tightly, obviously, so... Um, and we're going to move back here a little bit where she turns around having a gay old time here click there and uh, that should just about do it here we'll track her back this way and then it will from the last keyframe it will zoom out to the full screen slowly so this is my zoom and pan now, when I go ahead and uh, play, I'll move my playhead back just to the beginning of this time shift, which I didn't actually change the time of. But watch what happens when I play this. Hit click, click the play button. Zooms in on her in post-production. Okay, and then we have full. So that's how to use zoom and pan within a time shift segment. If I click on OK, I've saved it. There's nothing down here that tells me I have something special going on. But when I move to that part of the clip, the zooming and the panning will take place uh, just as it did a few seconds ago. And I'm able to focus.
So this is a little tip on how to use the uh, time shift, not for time, but for controlling some special zooming and panning. Mm -hmm.